Hey, what's up everybody? BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's well. Short video today for you guys. Uh, I'm finally getting around to doing the five likes of my new 2022 Subaru Outback Wilderness. I uh, thought this would be a good time to record this video as I'm back out on the country roads and not a lot of traffic so it's easy for me to kind of do this for you guys. Uh, I've done a couple videos on this car already to date uh go check those out one is unfortunately about my broken or cracked windshield which i still have and i'm gonna hopefully get that fixed in the next few weeks when i get my first oil change currently i'm at 2235 miles and this is the start of week three of me owning this uh new car traded in my 2018 subaru forester xt turbo for this car because i had 136,000 plus miles and i just want to have a good car although that car i think really should have lasted me a lot longer it was just a good time in my life to trade that in like financially i guess and get a new car so that's what i had done but i do feel like i probably could have pushed that car for i mean a, a, a bit longer for sh for certain but anyway not off top off uh, off with that we'll we'll go ahead and get on the top five likes that i found currently owning this new 2022 subaru outback wilderness edition we'll start off the first thing that i really enjoy about this car are the seats i i really like the soft leather uh that, that they have on here um they 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 feel like they're hugging me better than uh my subaru forester also before my Forester, I actually had a Subaru WRX, but I traded that in too because I had just kind of started doing what I'm doing. And because I'm in the car a lot, I wanted more room. And so I do, when I first sat in this car, I was like, wow, the seats feel like they're really hugging me and I feel real secure in them. And I still feel, I mean, I definitely still feel like that. Uh, maybe it's because I've gained a little weight. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just joking. But the Forester, the passenger seat was great. I'm sorry. The driver's seat was great in the Forester. The passenger seat, I think, had a few issues. It wasn't the most comfortable because I sat in that a few times. And then there was also this seat belt notification that seemed very sensitive in that car. If I put a bag of groceries or something on it, just a light bag of groceries. Uh, but these seats are great. Uh, I think they look good. I am really enjoying the dark interior again. My Forester had brown interior. So... Uh, the seats are definitely one thing that I am enjoying and that I do like in this vehicle. Uh, the second thing, as I come to an intersection here, second thing I like about this car is the, the back door, the hatch door. Uh, it open when you hit that button, the hatch door opens with a purpose. It just it doesn't go like, oh, thanks for opening me. I'm going to open very slow like the Subaru Forester uh, did for me. Like sometimes I'm like waiting for that door to open all the time. This one, when I hit the button, it opens. It opens quick with a purpose to the point. I appreciate that. I like that. This hatch door also has a hands-free. So if you hold your hand in front of the Subaru emblem on the back for just a second or two, the door will open when that feature is turned on you can turn off that feature as well <clears throat> so and also quick tip or quick note i have made my own vinyl emblem for the front and back of the car and so the hands-free does still work if you put your own vinyl emblem or vinyl sticker over the emblem my, it's still working for me so that's that's pretty cool actually uh, so I love the door. That's certainly the second thing I've found that I like about this car because I use that door all the time, putting luggage in, luggage out, uh, things of that nature. My third like on this car actually would be uh, the, um, the, ba the, the beeps and the dings in this car seem quicker and a little more subtle than they did in my Forester. Now I am comparing a lot of this stuff to my Forester because that's my most recent car. And I do realize things get better on vehicles as time goes. And I bought that Forester in 20, December 2017. So we're talking over five years, well, about five years ago. So things are gonna get better. And I think that the beeps and the dings are more subtle and quicker. And I don't feel like they're gonna annoy me as much as 
they did in the Forester. Uh, when I bought the Forester back in December 2017, I did a couple videos on that. If you wanted to go back and watch those videos, you're welcome to do that. And I know I did a video on the beeps and dings in that car that were just annoying as heck. And I didn't even know what some of the beeps and dings were telling me. And I never figured it out. But I do feel like they got better, but they still were annoying. So the beeps and dings were uh, certainly in this car seem a little bit more subtle and quick to the point. And I appreciate that. So I do like that. Uh, the fourth thing that I like about this car is the uh, there is no modes to drive in there's no sport mode or sport sharp literally you're just driving the car now there are uh pedals here on the steering wheel if i wanted to mess with the man like drive it like a manual and use the pedals i could do that but there's no sport and sport sharp or economic uh, economy, uh, economical <laughs> uh driving for best gas you just drive the car as it is uh if i want to pass somebody on the highway or if I'm merging on the interstate I just hit the pedal and I go and that's really nice not that it bothered me in the Forester that I had to hit the button to go to sport or sport sharp that was fun too I just don't have to worry about it in this car and I like that so that's my fourth like I just drive the car as it is and don't worry about dropping it into a sport mode or anything like that the fifth and final thing that I really like about this car <clears throat> is the uh this is the first car that I've ever had remote start. So I will have, I have remote start in this vehicle. Now I have it free for three years. And after that, apparently it's gonna go to a monthly cost through the Subaru app. And I will use the Subaru app to control that. And I can also use the Subaru app to control some of the heater and air conditioner uh, settings as well. So. This is my first car ever with remote start. I'm probably never going to use it in the summertime, in the fall, or in the winter because we do have all seasons here. I could see myself definitely using it, and I probably will use it, especially with, when I'm out here for work. For work, I can park in a garage, but when I'm overnight at a hotel or something like that, when my car is out in the elements, I'll certainly use the remote start. I kind of really wish, to be honest, I could have just paid $500 on top of the price of the car and owned the remote start. Um, but I mean, I guess in, for three years, it's free. We'll, we'll worry about that in three years. We'll see if the cost, if I find it beneficial for the cost at that point, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I do appreciate and like that I have remote start in this vehicle, at least for three years for free at no cost. I mean, so, or at least it was it's not an added feature it's not added cost at this time uh so that's cool so remote starts good uh i guess uh something else real quick just an added bonus that i really like about this car and i had it on my past three cars and it's something i don't feel like i could live without is the auto dimming mirrors uh love those i think that's a feature that everybody should have because when you got big old trucks with led lights behind you these things are amazing at night. Uh, if you've never had an auto dimming rear view mirror, you gotta get one. That's something that I can like not live without anymore. Uh, so that's just kind of a bonus. It came with this model of car, so it wasn't something extra, but I do like that. I mean, I love that to be honest with you. Um, but no, this is these are my five likes, uh, just something to kind of do. I am gonna do my next video on my five dislikes coming up with those now and there are some things I definitely do not like about this vehicle so stay tuned for that I appreciate you guys watching I will see you guys on the next video certainly send your questions or comments I'm pretty pretty good at getting back to everybody uh, pretty quickly within a couple days or so uh, with your questions and comments and uh, I appreciate you guys have a great day we'll see you on the next video all right take care